Hello everyone, this is Mike. This is a brand new series of SDR Uno videos for version 1.2. Uh, the version 1.13 videos are, are still good and still apply to, to the new version, version 1.2, but there's a few things that have been changed and I want to start a brand new series where we can uh, basically start from uh, version 1.2 and move forward. I, in this video, I'm going to demonstrate and show you the new workspace uh, auto populate feature. I'm going to show you how to rearrange and save your workspace. And I'm also going to show you the resolution bandwidth uh, feature built into the new SDR Uno version 1.2. So let's go ahead and get started. We will launch SDR Uno. I will pick the RSP2 and it's going to auto populate uh, modules based on your monitor resolution. Now, if you want to see what it's going to auto populate, just click on options, user manual, and I believe it's page 17. So let's scroll down to 17. Okay, it's page 14. And there's three options. If your monitor is set to 1024 by 768, it's going to load these modules by default. If you're 1280 by 1024, it will be these modules. Let me zoom in a little bit more. And if you're at 1920 by 1080, it will be uh, these set of modules. It's also going to apply the settings that I showcased in video number one. So you don't have to basically change too much. Just change your output uh, to your to your speakers, and everything should be ready to go right out of the box. So I'll click play. And it's automatically going, going to uh, pick Spectrum Extended. Uh, same for the main SP and the AUX SP. Let me lower this just a little bit. If you want to rearrange these modules or if you don't like the defaults, you're more than welcome to do so. You can rearrange, resize, put them any way uh, you, you like, whatever is comfortable for you. The only thing you're going to have to do is just name your workspace, uh, right click one time, in the main SP, right where the label is here, we'll name it uh, SDR Play, and hit Control W on the keyboard. Hold the Control key, hit W, and select the name. And that's it, the workspace is saved. Now, in the main SP, we have the resolution bandwidth feature, which is here. You can change uh, the level of detail of the spectrum. And the lower the detail, the less CPU usage it's going to use on your system. So if you're using an older, let's say, Core 2 Duo, and it's it's pegging the CPU in the system, just lower the resolution bandwidth. It has no effect on the uh, signal. This is purely visual. So I'll zoom in, and I'll make it the lowest setting. Nothing changed audio-wise. It's strictly visual and it will impact the system a lot less if your CPU or uh, um, just the resources can't handle uh, what's being processed here. So just lower the resolution bandwidth and you can put it back. And it's going to show you uh, in the bottom right the information as you're changing the resolution bandwidth, the FFT size. So the lowest is uh, 2048 and the highest is 65,000. Uh, 65,536. So I usually keep mine at the middle at about 16 and it's it's fine there. Another uh, quick thing that I'll show you is as you're zooming in it's going to auto center as you zoom. So if I select this signal which is a little bit off to the let me pick something that's off to the right. And as I'm zooming in, it's going to snap to the center. This way you can get right in on that signal and, and take a look at what's going on. Now, as I said, this is a brand new series for version 1.2. And we're going to move forward uh, from here. We'll try to cover everything. Actually, we will cover everything. If you guys have any questions, please leave them in the comments. Uh, I do respond. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching.